You're using Google every single day. But you know what? I bet you're just doing basic searches. And what I mean by that is you're just using keywords and looking at web page results, clicking through, and maybe even browsing the web. But there's a lot more to Google than just that. Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna share with you seven advanced Google queries that you ought to know. The first query I have for you is exclusion related. Let's say you're associated with another brand or topic or whatever you're searching for has multiple meanings. You can exclude one of the meanings so then that way you're not getting the wrong type of results. For example, I'm associated with a lot of different companies. One of them is Kissmetrics. If I wanna see all the articles related to me that are not including Kissmetrics, I would just do a Google search for Neil Space Patel space minus Kissmetrics. It'll show me all the results that are related to me that don't include Kissmetrics. The second query I have for you will help you build more links. Let's say a lot of people are mentioning your brand but they're not linking to you. You can do a Google query which you're typing in, in text, one word, colon, and your brand name. By doing that, what it'll show is all the people who are mentioning your brand throughout their content. And then from there, you can look through them and see which ones aren't linking back to your site. You can hit them up and ask them for a link. It's a simple way to get more links, which will boost your search engine rankings. The third query I have for you will help you save time by showing you the exact results you wanna see. A lot of times when you do a Google search, you're gonna get results from random web pages that just talk about your subject and not really that much in depth. But if someone mentions your keyword within the title of their page, you know there's a really high chance that that page is really on the subject matter that you're looking up. So you can do a Google search with in title, colon, and the keyword, and it'll always show you results that have that keyword within the title of the page. The fourth query I have for you is in URL. So when you do in URL, colon, and let's say it's affiliate, as a keyword, you can then see all the pages that have the word affiliate in the URL. This is really useful, let's say you're also starting your own affiliate campaign and you wanna see what your competitors are offering in your space. Now you can see all of their affiliate pages and you can use this to try to create a better offer than them. The fifth one I have for you is a site colon command. If you do site colon, your URL, .com or .net or whatever it may be, what you'll see is you'll see a list of pages that Google has indexed from your site. This is really useful because if you've created a thousand pages but Google only has a hundred index or 50 index, then you know that something is off and you should check your Google Search Console to figure out why they're not picking up all of your pages. The sixth query I have for you is minus in URL. What I mean by this is let's say your domain is called crazyegg.com and you wanna see who's talking about Crazy Egg other than your own website. Because if you just Google Crazy Egg, what is Google gonna show you? It's probably gonna show you your own website first. So if you type in crazy egg space minus in URL colon crazyegg.com, they'll show you results from all over the web and exclude your own website. The last query I have will help you determine which other websites are related to yours. So you can do a search on Google with related colon yourdomain.com or .net or whatever the extension may be, and Google will show you all the other websites that they feel are related to yours and are pretty much your competitors, at least in the eyes of Google. Follow those queries, you'll save time, you'll be able to build more backlinks, and you'll figure out how to grow your business. It's that simple.